Hi hey everyone, this is Andrew Ty, and welcome to my YouTube channel. So today I've got a MacBook Pro in front of me, and what I want to be able to do is to extract the data. So this computer won't turn on, and we will have some data on the hard drive that we want to extract and then copy to a new computer, and I'm going to show you how to do that. So this basically applies to MacBook Pros from 2008 to 2012. The newer versions of the MacBook Pro have a different method of doing this, but this is basically going to use the 2.5 inch SATA drive. So I'll be using one of these cables, which you'll need to get from Amazon. I'll leave a link to this in the description. It is a Sabrent USB 3 to 2.5 inch SATA drive. And we're gonna use this to take out the hard drive from this computer and then plug it into this adapter and then plug it into the new computer so we can get the data out. So this is going to be a pretty common issue, especially with these older MacBooks. So I'm just going to flip it over and show you what to do with this. So basically what we have is a set of Phillips head screws. So I'm just going to use my standard Phillips head screwdriver and then just basically pull out the screws. So you'll often find that some of these have missing screws, especially if they're a bit older. So this computer's definitely seen some wear and tear. And it's got a few bumps on the bottom, but it's uh, still perfectly usable. However, we're just going to be extracting the data out of this computer. So I'm just going to take this off. So there are some minor differences between the 2008, the unibody and the 2012. But basically we have the same rough set of screws. So they should all be the same length except for these two here, which will be longer, the center hinge ones. And also this one is meant to be longer if it was actually there. So basically we pull these screws out and then we can pull the entire bottom case off. So once that's off, we can see the computer itself, battery, RAM, disk drive, um, fans. But this is what we want to get out. This is the hard drive. So we use our Phillips head again and we take off these two black bits here. And this removes this uh, cover. This kind of mounting cover here. So now that we've exposed this, we can pull this out on the side and then pull off the cable here. So you can see this cabling. This is the SATA cable here. And this is a standard 250 gigabyte Seagate hard drive. Now this is where the data is stored. So any documents, pictures, etc., is all going to be kept here. So all we need to do now to access this data is to use the 2.5 inch SATA adapter and plug it in like so. So you can see that you can align the power and the data cable like so, and it plugs in just like that. So these are really great for if you want to just plug it into a new computer, and then we can copy the data. So often as well, if you want to sell this computer, even for parts, then you'll often want to take out the hard drive because these are not great anyway. You want to kind of replace them as soon as possible. The other thing to note is that if you wanted to plug this into a new computer, um, you'll need to remove the side. So removing these mounting screws requires a torque screwdriver. So I'll leave a link to one of these in the description and you just pull out the side mounting clips and then you can mount it onto the next hard drive that you need. And you remove them so that you can put this into a different laptop if you wanted to. So anyway, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.